Welcome to the Jewelry Design in ZBrush course and this is focusing on section 12 of the course where we'll be producing this ring. Now I know it looks really funky but I really wanted to put a ton of different methods and techniques into this section to open your eyes up to the power of UVs and alphas inside of ZBrush. You're going to see lots of detailing on this ring that has been done specifically with alphas and with extractions and it's pretty good laying out UVs for it as well so flattening this ring out and being able to texture on top of it there's a ton of techniques in this section and we just to name a few of them we're going to be setting our UVs for this ring we're going to be showing how to export our UV maps to actually edit inside of Photoshop and um, we're going to be creating alphas from UVs for extractions that's pulling out details from the mesh spend a little bit of time on that we're going to be using UVs and registering multiple maps so that you can get registration points on the UVs for doing multiple um, extractions out and they all be in registered positions this is really really important this feature uh, for sure so we're spending a bit of time with that creating our custom design for use in ZBrush as alphas as well and we will be actually applying our custom designs as an alpha so loads of alpha and UV work in this we'll also be mirroring as well so we're going to be mirroring and uh, poly group splitting our model this is again is very important we'll be creating UV guides for easier positioning so we'll be using surface noise and repeating patterns with UVs and extractions so that's basically using the surface noise plugging and and actually running our alphas our UV alphas into the noise maker plugging inside of ZBrush now okay if this is not making sense to you it's because you haven't done the last uh, 10 or 11 uh, sections that are before this because I build up to this complexity so if you're thinking oh my god this is going to be hard to follow it's just because I've done a lot before this this is section you know this is section 12 so it's um it's it's getting there you know there's 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 a 30 sections in the course and I'm up to 12 at the moment so we get more and more complicated and sometimes we go back to basic techniques to just uh, redefine things for you so we've also got a bonus uh, lecture with uh, using extractions for boolean operations as well which is also very cool understanding alphas and grayscales this is really important and what we're doing with the alphas as well so i go into a lot of detail on what i'm actually doing and we can applying our alphas as brushes as well which is another very powerful thing so insert brushes uh, we've done curve on surface um, this is just a different form of that um, applying our alpha as a mask as well which is again really important so the different gradient effects for brushes and masks using alphas as well um, we'll also be making alphas in ZBrush and we'll be storing them as well so I show you how you can sort of store them in the light box to have access to them uh, at a later stage so you've got stuff in here that you can um, I haven't got any in here at the moment but they're basically stored in folders inside here so I show you how to do that as well so this uh, lecture is quite involved um, that's why this ring is kind of all over the place because I've just gone to town with it and really kind of laid stuff down um, and finally producing our final ring um, here which we have which is one mesh that we can put out you'll also see it's got a cut in for that shape so we do that as well so uh, pretty involved this part of the course it might not look like it as a ring but it's very very involved um, these techniques of course you know you're paying attention to the depths as well so uh, pretty cool if you want to do this sort of stuff I pretty much cover it all so you know we also talk about the possibilities of this as well um, and also possible boolean problems and fixing um, plus shelling as well shelling inside here okay so we talk about all that stuff and more in a section 12. <laughs>